caused his co-stars to break character the most. <laughs> How do the Bridgerton siblings get along in real life? A lady must never cause a scene. Daphne! You must make haste! But who's to tell a lady what to do? And how did Regé Jean Page and Phoebe Dinova approach their not one, but multiple steamy scenes? You should watch Bridgerton if you want to see sexy people doing sexy things in the past. Hi, I'm Joy. I should believe it's time to introduce you to all the hilarity behind the scenes of the Regency romance. Regency England on acid. <laughs> As any actor will probably tell you, filming with animals can become interesting. And what's the one thing any proper Englishman or woman worth their high society salt should know how to do? Ride a horse, of course. Well, this author shall let you know that Lord Anthony Bridgerton's finesse on the screen is pure illusion. In fact, Jonathan Bailey's horse riding skills even won him the title of the one cast member most likely to leave his fellow actors incapable of staying in character. It was. 100% Jonathan, I'm so sorry, <laughs> Jonathan right. And um, we had been training for months, and we thought we got it down. We'd been training together. They even like took us out on hacks on a Sunday. We were ready. And as soon as they said action, the horses went backwards. He's been pulling the wool over your eyes with his seemingly flawless riding skills. So it's terribly easy to wonder whether his epic sideburns were of the stick-on kind. It was just to shine at the body. No, I... Yeah, they were like my little bonsai trees. I really tended to them. But back to the horses. I shall inform you that some of the other cast members also had a steep learning curve to overcome. Funny scene to shoot would have to be the horse riding with Phoebe. Me and Phoebe particularly were very happy and confident with our horses until they said action. Action! And the horses literally went backward. We were cry crying laughter. While most actors joke about putting all kinds of skills on their CV just to get the job, Regay Jean isn't shy, to be honest. I'm not naturally a horse boy. I'm a city boy. Ridden horse, I've driven horses before on previous jobs, and I rode a horse once in Texas, but Texan horses are very different. Couldn't tell you why. Maybe it's an accent thing, but very different temperament, very different riding. If the Duke says it is so, then you must take the Duke's word for it. But only if he's speaking the truth. Going back in one piece, that's your first priority. Looking good while you do it, maybe a second. I should say Regé Jean managed to succeed at both priorities then. Now, considering that the whole cast went on a six-week boot camp to learn the art of the finer things in life, would you wager that they're friends in real life? If you'd put your money on yes, you'd be better at gambling than Lord Featherington. In real life, Phoebe sees Anthony as a big brother. And Nicola Coughlin and Claudia Jesse became the best of friends off the set, too. Wait, <laughs> Okay, what's the last chuffing card? Once during a night at the pub, a fan recognized Nicola and, long story short, memories were made. You've got a Polaroid from that as well, me and you. Right here. Shut the front door. That's the most romantic thing that's ever happened to me. Legitimately the most romantic thing that's ever happened to me. You're the source of all of my romance. <laughs> it's funny how much Claudia and her character Eloise seem to have in common in real life. When you look at this photo versus the reality, then you must admit, this bunch looks just like a real family. Yes. <laughs> the three older Bridgerton brothers are always pretty serious. Wondered whether the actors had any fun while filming? It wasn't hard to get an answer. Luke Newton knows how to take late nights and early mornings with a pinch of salt. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. And when the three are together, they break out in song sporadically. Wise men say only Who knows, might season two even have a new flavor? Musical episode? It's clear loads of fun was had during filming. In fact, it would seem they cut out Lord Anthony's giggles in one final shot. A shame, really. And of course, this is really similar to my uh, house at home, as all Brits do live in these sweeping staircase halls. Wait, and what's a set without pranks? This one is no exception. Okay, so basically, me and Luke are always laughing at each other because no one can hear us when they knock on our door and we say, come in. So I'm just gonna knock on his door and see how frustrated I can get him. <laughs> the 
the family-friendly brotherly jokes aside. They do lots of dancing. They go to lots of balls. They wear lots and lots of very pretty clothes. Sometimes they don't wear any clothes at all. This description hints at the PG nature of some of the Bridgerton scenes. Dearest viewer, did you ever imagine romance in the 19th century could get this steamy? Well, turns out it could. Are you that surprised, though, knowing that the Grey's Anatomy and Scandal writer and producer Shonda Rhimes is the one who brought the Julia Quinn novels to life? The Duke of Hastings has even been compared to a Mr. Darcy or a McDreamy. I wouldn't necessarily describe Simon as a McDreamy, but if the dream were to evolve into something larger, hotter and altogether more scandalous, then we may have an McSteamy on our hands. I beg your pardon, sir. I shall differ with you on that. The scandal ratings are already through the roof, especially considering... A rake is a Regency boy. Mr. Simon Bassett. C'est moi. Rake. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. Raking all over the place. Seeing their jokes and banter in real life, it doesn't look like Phoebe and Paige had that much of a hard time ranking in many scenes. Like their very first one together, getting hot and heavy in the library. Our first day, my first scene was a very explicit scene. And it was quite heated. The question about our first day on set, it was a very close encounter in the library because we're both very well behaved and scholarly young people. In fact, it wasn't just heated, it was positively aflame. Oh, hang on, hang on. I remember when I burned for you. I burned. That was, that was the cottage. We oh, before, before <laughs> that's a, yes, the... That is how one reacts. The when one burns for someone and they do not feel the same. Okay. That's that's when I burned for you. Do you know each scene took at least half a day to film and was highly choreographed? It's great to see how comfortable they are and able to joke about what could have been quite the awkward situation, I should think. Want to hear their secret? You do get used to it, uh, but I don't think it was that awkward to begin with. We were lucky enough to have a lot of preparation. We've had an intimacy coach, um, which I've never had before in a job which is amazing to work with. Still, how did they approach the scenes? And so we just got on set and did the job, just sometimes you got more clothes on, sometimes you got less. My dears, a gentleman must never be alone with a lady, but if he is and the world is watching, then what do you tell your grandma? Nicola has it all figured out. So I always tell people like, you know, sit down and watch it with the family, but warn your granny beforehand. Some things are worse than a shocked reaction though. I think the most horrifying thing is when your parents aren't horrified. Like you're sitting there and you're like, oh, careful, it's going to get to see me. And they're just like, yes, do you think you invented this? Oh, and the old fashioned vernacular didn't always come naturally to all of the cast members. Cock, cock up one's toes, cock up one's toes. It's something to do with dancing, right? To cock something up means to like f it up. Mm -hmm. Put your feet up. To die. To, to cock up one's toes. To, to die. die. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right in there. Bang. To die. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Like, <laughs> Back to intimate scenes, Paige and Inova weren't the only actors whose first scenes were, let's say, not for family viewing. First day on set was intimate and exposing. It was a scene with a brilliant Sabrina Bartlett where we first meet Anthony with his bottom out. I got to know the makeup department intimately as well because they had to de-shine my washer. On that deliciously scandalous note, my darlings, I bid you farewell. Are you excited about the release of season two? Then watch our other video and stay awesome.